Hey guys! So this is makeup look number 7 from the Around the World in 80 makeup looks and this is my Valentine's Day makeup look which is kind of like a girl next door with a bit more of a sex appeal. So it's really really easy to create and if you guys want to know how to create it then please keep watching and you'll be able to wear it out to your dinner dates or whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day. I am going to be on a plane to Cape Town on Valentine's Day by myself so I'm kind of hoping that like the airline's going to be a bit like match.com like some sort of dating site and they'll sit me next to a really handsome single guy um, and you know things happen like they happen in the movies so let's see what happens and I'll keep you updated. Okay so we're going to start off with our base and I really wanted to keep this a really nice light um, fresh natural base for that really sort of like next door girl sort of feel. So to start off we're going to put on our primer and this is um, Makeup Forever HD Micro Perfecting Primer. Every time I try and say that it's like a tongue twister. So you need like one pump of this, it's a white sort of colour. Dependent on what one you get, as I said in my last video, you get these in six different um, sort of shades and they're for different skin types. So if you have um, red skin you get one that has a green shade to it and that way it's going to counteract the redness but this one is just the original one it's just to fill in pores and smooth out any lines before you put your foundation on and it really does keep your foundation on all day it's brilliant and it smells really good as well which is always important because i hate putting a product on my face that doesn't smell nice and this one's really lovely and it, it leaves your skin just so soft to touch so once you've put on your primer, I'm going to use a nice light coverage foundation and I'm going to use Makeup Forever HD foundation in number 117. This has good coverage, so it does cover up blemishes, but it doesn't feel cakey and it totally sinks into your skin, so you can't really see it. And I'm just going to use my buffing brush here, and this is a Sephora Mineral Powder Brush in number 45. I'm just going to put on a small amount. If I need more, I'll just build it up but I just want a nice light coverage to start off with. I keep putting my mirror up in front of my face I realise. I did it in my last tutorial as well which is never good. So you just buff that in you don't want any lines or anything. You can use your fingers to do this, you can use a foundation brush if you want. It's just up to you as to how you like to apply your foundation. I was all crafty last night making my back my backdrop which is behind me. I had a lot of fun. So we have our base on. It's a nice, lovely, light, fresh base. This um, foundation leaves you with quite a sort of dewy glow. It's not at all shiny, semi-matte, um, and sort of nice and like dewy. That's why I use this. I really love the finish on it. Next, we're going to do some under eye concealing, and I'm going to use my Touche Cla by Yves Saint Laurent, and I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes where my bags are from last night. Honestly, I had my second two injections for going away to Africa in this arm and then two days ago I had them in this arm so I was just like lying in bed like straight and I couldn't really move onto either of them because they're so sore just now so I didn't really have the best sleep you can imagine so we're just gonna pat that underneath your the circles of your eyes you can use any um, under eye concealer. The best is a concealer that has a brightener in it as well because obviously that's going to reflect light and you find that sometimes if you just use like a, con a thick concealer then it gets stuck in the lines underneath your eyes that we all have. So you're sometimes better off investing in a slightly more expensive one although I do know that uh, Fleur de Force here on YouTube uses Collection 2000 under eye concealer, I think, um, and that's obviously a nice high street um, drugstore one that you can get your hands on pretty cheap. So I've also just concealed my lines here and I've put a bit more on the sides of my mouth there as well. And then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier 
um, secret camouflage palette and I'm just going to cover up any blemishes that I have and I'm just going to use my fingers for this and just pat it on. So just now I have a few around my chin here which the foundation actually has covered up most of. I'm just going to give it a bit of a helping hand. And then to finish all of this off, I'm going to apply a powder um, just to seal all that makeup down so that it doesn't move if you're, say, going out for a Valentine's Day date. And also, just in case you are a bit oily, this is going to combat any shine that you're going to get. Imagine if you're sitting at a table with a candle and your face is shiny. It's just not a good look. So this is the Laura Mercier uh, Universal Loose Setting Powder and it's, it's going to go everywhere. But if you can see that, it's a white powder, but it's actually translucent. So you just need the tiniest amount of this. I mean tiny. You can put it on a fan brush if you want. I just can't find my fan brush just now. So I'm just using a big powder brush. And you just want to kind of pat that on all over. This powder is really lovely. It, does, it doesn't it does really sit on the skin. You know how you can sometimes see powders? This one is all over my floor, but this one is um, really, really light. It's really fine, so it's very good. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up for applying my eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply my eyeshadow primer. So this is Urban Decay's original eyeshadow primer, which is just going to give me a great base for applying my eyeshadows onto, and it's also going to help them stay all day. You get this, I think they do these in four different shades as well. So they do ones in gold for if you're using gold eyeshadows. This one just dries clear. So it is, it's just the original nude colour. And I use it pretty much for every single um, eyeshadow that I own. I haven't got any others. And that's us ready to move on to our eyes. Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes. I've done this side and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the other side. So first off, what we're going to do, we've already applied our primer in the last stage. We're going to take a matte colour to act as a base. So this is Brulee by MAC and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. Now I use Brulee by MAC an awful lot just as a base for any sort of really pretty nude sort of eye. It really is great. But any matte nude colour is going to work for this. It just makes everything a bit more blendable. It's just amazing. Like so. Next we're going to put on a highlighter on the inside corner of our eyes just to make it look really bright and really pretty. So I'm going to use my Inglot Pearl. This is 395. It's such a pretty colour. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a really shimmery colour, absolutely gorgeous. And we're just going to apply this on the inside corner of our eyelid. And you can also apply it sort of on this inner bit here. And that's just going to really widen your eyes up. It's a really pretty colour, this. I'm also going to apply some of this underneath my brow bone here as well, just as a highlighter. You can see it reflects the light really well. Um, I think it's just the lighting in this room, but it does work. So next we're going to put on, I love this colour. I haven't used it in ages and I was like, I wonder what I'm going to do for my Valentine's Day look. And I just thought this is the perfect colour. So this is Paradisco by MAC and it's this amazing sort of like peachy apricot pink colour with a bit of shimmer in it but not too much shimmer and it's really beautiful. I love using this for wedding makeup and um, I'm just going to apply it again with a nice big fluffy brush. It just looks great on any skin colour. It's just beautiful and I'm going to apply this to the outer corner where we've not done yet and just bring that up into your crease line pretty much up to where you've highlighted. That's just going to give a really pretty sort of um, glow to your eye. It's almost a coral colour when it goes on. 
My sister sometimes uses Coralista, you know, Benefits Coralista blush to do this look as well. She puts this on her eyes. That would be mine on the floor. So we've got a really pretty color base going on now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bit of three dimensional shape and definition. You could leave this look like this, as it is. It's really pretty and really simple. I'm gonna go one step further and I'm going to add some brown into it to give this sort of like really contoured look. So I'm gonna use, this is MAC, and this is, what's it called? Cross Cultural, which is a really great just brown matte eyeshadow that I use for all types of like brown eyes, neutral eyes, I use it on my eyebrows, it's a really good brown. I'm just going to take a really small pointed tipped brush here and I'm going to first off map out where I want to contour. So I'm going to take it in a sort of V shape here and then bring that all the way around my contour line. Not right down to about here. So almost, probably about two thirds of the way. And then I'm just gonna fill this outer edge in a bit just to blend it. So now we've got a really stark line. You can see the difference. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice big fluffy, well this is a small fluffy, blending brush and I'm just going to blend away and blend that crease line and blending this in as well. Try not to flick it out too much this way unless you're going for the cat eyed look. I've kept this more rounded but you're more than welcome to flick this out the way and you can achieve a nice smoky cat eyed look. But you can see how that brown really looks beautiful and merges into the coral apricot colour. Like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same brown with the pointed brush and we're going to take that underneath the eye to give this smoky eyed look. You again don't have to do this step, you could leave it at this. This is also a really beautiful step look. So again, not the full way along, I'm just going to about here and bringing it out to here where you've got your brown. And I just did a very light colour there. Then what we're going to do is, because there's quite a stark contrast, I'm going to use just a little um, rounded tip brush here. I'm going to go back to the Paradisco and I'm just going to blend these two into the sort of highlight colour and then the brown colour. Like so. I'm also going to take that big fluffy brush with some Paradisco on it and because when you do the blending in the brown you lose a bit of that pop of colour, especially here in the centre of your eye, which I really love. So I'm just going to go on with that again. Then we're going to move on to our eyeliner and for this you can either line the inner rim or again leave it like this or you can line it. So I'm going to line it with Midnight Eyes Rimmel 002 Mysterious, which is like my new favourite friend, honestly. This is a gorgeous brown golden colour and it stays in your waterline really well. So we're just going to line the waterline. Like so. And then we're also going to line our top lash line but I'm going to use a black. I always like to use black on my top lash line. I just think it's a lot more effective than the brown but if you're not used to a really strong line there then brown's always a really good colour to go for. So I'm going to use my Styly Style which is also one of my new best friends and features a lot in my videos. It's like a felt tip pen. I've just drawn my hand. I think I did that last time too and I'm just going to take this along the top of my lash line I've just realised that I haven't taken off my mascara from when I had it on earlier. 
and uh, putting eyeliner on with mascara on is not the easiest. And I'm also going to just, I'm going to flick this out at the corner because I really like that flicked look. I do it quite a lot. So we've got our lashes, well, I've got my lashes done. I'm just going to curl them quickly. Um, usually you don't curl your lashes when you've got mascara on, but I know that this mascara um, doesn't stick to my eyelash curlers when I do it, so it's not going to pull my eyelashes out. And these are the Urban Decay Cageless Eyelash Curlers. So I'm just going to curl my lashes quickly. And then because I have a bit of fallout from the nice shimmery colour on the tops of my lashes, I am just going to apply a quick layer of mascara. This is Soap and Glory's Thick and Fast New Mascara, and I really love it. I think it gives you great long lashes. I was playing around with it yesterday, getting like crazy long lashes. I used um, the L'Oreal Double Ended Tubes Primer first, the white one, and then I put this on afterwards. So we'll just put it on the bottom of our lashes. And then to finish off this look, we're going to do our eyebrows. And as I said earlier, I sometimes use this um, Cross Cultural by MAC as an eyebrow colour. So I'm going to take, a, there we are, an angled brush. And I'm just going to line my lashes with that and just neaten them up and make them look a bit more defined. like so. And that's the eyes finished and I'm going to show you guys how to finish off this really pretty. So to finish off this look I'm just going to keep the cheeks really really natural and really pretty. So we're going to use Makeup Forever HD foundation and this is in number 14. So I'm going for a really apricot colour to complement the apricot paradisco disco colour of the eyes. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger this time. I usually apply it with a brush, but I thought you, I'd show you guys how else you can apply this, founda this foundation. Oh, I'm getting my words in a twist. This cream um, blusher. I almost said eyeshadow there. It's too early in the morning, honestly. So I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks, and I'm actually going to pretty much keep it on the apples. I'm just going to blend it outwards slightly. I just want that really fresh, pretty look, a really flirty look for Valentine's Day. And this blush is just amazing. It really melts into your skin so that you look like you're naturally flushed. It's like you have naturally beautiful peachy cheeks. So we've got lovely, lovely peachy cheeks now. And to finish off this look, I'm going to use um, a new lipstick that I bought the other day. This is the Sleek Lipsticks, and I am really impressed with these, so I had to can put it in my video. Um, I was looking for two colours for a photo shoot that I'm doing, and I had, well, no, I was looking for one colour, but I had to buy two colours and mix them together to get the perfect colour. And one of them was Heartbreaker, by Sleek. Now look at this colour. It's amazing. It's like a gorgeous pink colour. Now that's slightly maybe over the top for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to just put a small amount of this on with my finger. I'm going to dab it on for that hint of colour and then finish it off with um, a lip balm or a um, lip gloss. So I am going to use my fingers for this. I mean they're not as soft as um, MAC lipsticks say, but they really have a great colour. You can already see that pop of colour. And they're great for that spring summer look as well that's on the catwalks just now, these really bright, vibrant matte lips. These are really great because they're actually completely matte. So we've got a lovely hint of colour there, and I'm just going to finish this off with a coral top um, coat of lip gloss, and this is Gemma Kids Lip Gloss um, in Coral.
You can do whatever you want for the lips for this look though. Because you've got your eyes done up quite nicely, you could go with a really simple nude lip if you wanted as well. But I'm quite into these strong lips just now. I'm loving them. I'm really excited for summer where I can go away and wear these. So this is your Valentine's Day look. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching if you've got to this point because it means you watched it to the end. Um, please subscribe so that you don't miss out. I'm heading to Cape Town on Tuesday and that's where I'll be continuing my around the world in 80 makeup looks. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.